Hello and welcome to a quick unboxing of NFL Showdown 2002. This is a card game released by Wizards of the Coast, who is better known for more traditional fantasy flavored card and board games, uh, tabletop RPG stuff. Uh, this game, my research indicates that it was not very well received because you had to scan a barcode on each card for your offensive play and then your opponent would scan his defensive barcode and then the computer would spit out the results so you had to buy an electronic device to make the game playable and I don't know if the fun factor was very high but I picked this up as an anomaly for only two dollars before knowing anything about it just to unbox it for YouTube so I don't think I'm gonna have the correct apparatus ever to be able to play it. So um, I like the sport of football and I know that there are some popular football board games out there but through it seems that there should be a really exciting football card game in the world and so I'm a bit disappointed that this game was not better reviewed. Alright, so a quick rules information sheet. This is a draft pack that would allow you to expand your team, I believe, making for more excitement. So it's an expansion. Uh, Alright, and then there they are, those barcodes. So maybe it would be fun or at least a novelty so having a handful of offensive and defensive plays doesn't that sound like a grand time so a nickel and dime defenses um, one time I had the good fortune of reading a book about football strategy and it showed you how the tactics had evolved over the years. So this is very cool. Although they could have done, uh, just for a little bit more flair, some of the pointing well, um, arrows, just for fun, you know. Or maybe the computer does that. So these look like our offensive and defensive additions to the base game. And we have some characters now. And this was the 2001 Chad Brown linebacker card, so probably a lot more rare than tops or Fleer cards. And then I'll just zip right through and see if we can find a Pittsburgh Steeler or any other notable characters. Here we go. Chad Scott, a cornerback. That might be the one I hang on to. Tim Couch, a player from Kentucky. Southeastern area of the state. There was um, a lot of interest in him coming out of our region and becoming a famous player. Okay, so this is some more tactical cards. If the defense couldn't swipe the player that was asked for, double the gain. So maybe this means that the offensive player swipes and then the defensive player, it must know all the different player cards. And it's asking for a particular person from that team. So it's encouraging players maybe to keep on buying these draft packs and getting better roster of players or maybe it's just asking for the position oh that would be kind of nice so it randomly maybe will execute the play and then depending on where the player it might even show you on the little uh, computer screen on the scanning device like how the play executes and then it would maybe know what player was in like the safety position and it would ask you maybe for like Palomalu. And 
So if that player wasn't available or was covering the wrong opponent, it would calculate maybe a random amount of yardage. So all in all, a unique idea. Uh, kind of now wishing that I did have the device just to give a fuller overview, but I'm not going to be scouring eBay for everyone. Sorry about that. <laughs> Fingertips offense, very cool. So this would be the high excitement. Uh, you could sort of imagine the thundering arena as a fingertip tap. Ball catch occurs here with the Steelers doing uh, great work on the gridiron. Swipe this card, excuse me, when you swipe your, you would play this card when you swipe your player. All right, well, maybe this is high technical strategy. Penalty cards, that's unique. So you can play them. Like as instance. Nice that you can put flags on the play. I like decide to do it, isn't that an interesting decision they made instead of having the computer randomly assign fouls. Roll a die. So we even have die rolls here. Well, I'm more intrigued and maybe I shouldn't have listened to all the um, <laughs> bad reviews on the uh, the internet because somebody out there must have liked it and treasured these cards and valued <clears throat> the game. Seems like we only got a couple players though but tons of extra cards for play action on a gain even of zero yards hmm zero a number or it's all or nothing and a collision injury harm coming to these guys the deep blitz defense wow be a horrible result all right so this game out there maybe someone knows a little bit about it it came with a well I guess there was a whole craze about card scanning uh, barcode scanning games for a little while I think there was even one made um, uh, for uh, one of the Game Boys maybe Game Boy Advance or something and then also all these proprietary things um, so this just sort of cashed in on that I guess when you buy the starter pack you uh, would get a whole team maybe of cards or maybe the starter kit gave you two complete teams maybe randomly assigned or something and as far as I can tell in the game uh, I would if I was guessing, I would say I would choose a play, so I'm going to go with the shotgun play, and then my opponent chooses a, let's see, suitable defense. Let's see here. It's just giving me a couple. We'll go, we'll go with the most people in the outfield that I can spot. So nickel defense and then maybe I would have the option here to uh, play defensive pass interference and then I could get an increased gain that way if um, if my team won the the engagement and let's just imagine I'm using Tim Couch as my quarterback so I zip in through the the uh, Machine and whoa, good luck. He's got the Steelers on the defense, so he's probably not going to score any yardage or a touchdown this turn. But so we've got Chad Scott. We can scan him as our cornerback. Maybe he'll come in for the blitz. And there you have it an unusual game, uh, perhaps made even more unusual by the fact that it was published by. Fantasy a company known for fantasy games, NFL Showdown 2002.
a rare example of a football card game.